Happy Tuesday! How you doing, huh? Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to switch on the power to get wealth. The power to get wealth. Very real. It's a very real power. And it's there. And God provides it. But it has to be turned on. Has to be switched on. How do I look? My entourage is not working yet. They're not here. Not available. So I had to get myself all fixed up this morning. Do I look good? Huh? I may have to find a new entourage. Those people are working strict, straight hours now. They're unionized. They brought in the union. I don't know who started that, but they're unionized now. They have special rights and privileges under the union. And that includes punching in at a certain time and going home at a certain time. What am I gonna do, huh? Hey, but they're great people. They're great. They get your books out for you. They get your stuff out for you. They get all the letters out. They do all the stuff, amen. And they're nice people. Nice people, my entourage. I just can't find them. I know I have them, but I'm just not sure where they are. I hope your entourage is not like that. Huh? I hope at least you can, you know, Muhammad Ali used to walk around with this huge entourage. He always knew where they were. I have no idea where mine is. I think they're supposed to be here. Anyway, we're here, and the rest of our life is the best of our life. Say that with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Amen. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything works out for me. I have the power to get wealth. Start talking like that, huh? Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Your life will conform to your words. This year, we're doing three things. I'm gonna keep reminding you. Keeping the devil out, keeping the blessing in, and watching our words. I will keep the devil out of your life. I will keep the blessing in. You watch your words. If you watch your words, I guarantee you, you will increase this year. I guarantee it. Watch. Because if you watch your words, you can't do anything but increase. And God said, I will increase you more and more, you and your children. That's a promise of God, too. Amen. Glory to God. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell everybody you know about these videos. Five people today. Share these videos with five people. If you watch them on Facebook, Share them with five of your Facebook friends. You know how to do that. If you're watching them on YouTube, send five people in your contact list the link. Tell them, call Pastor Jim if you need prayer. Amen. We are going to spread this blessing message around the world this year. Amen. Glory to God. And make sure you call me if you need prayers answered and make real sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations today. A lot of you again last night, overnight, did your offerings and donations. Amen. Our people haven't been through them yet, so they haven't sent out any notices or letters. But we'll we'll get to that when they get here. Amen. And uh, But make sure the ones who did that during the night, make sure you call me today because I want to speak the, the blessing over you. Amen. My calling hours are 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time, all the way till midnight, Eastern Time. Amen. Glory to God. I want to show you something here in the Bible. How many of you know that I try to stay scriptural? Somebody told me the other day, a wonderful evangelist who uh, is very familiar with all of our stuff. He says, you know, he says, we don't find anything that you do that we disagree with. 
And I said, well, I try to stay scriptural. Amen? And I'm, I'm scriptural today. Let me show you this. We're talking about the power to get wealth. Deuteronomy 8, 18. Look at that verse. You think I've been there a few times? It says, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee power to get wealth. God gives you a power to get wealth. Now you have to understand the reason behind this. And the reason is right here. That he may establish or continue his covenant. The power to get wealth is part of God's covenant. Just like Jesus in Luke chapter 13 said healing is part of the covenant. When he said that woman should be healed because she's covenant. And I'm telling you what, folks, you should be living in wealth and abundance if you are a covenant person. And by wealth, don't go crazy on me and turn these videos off. By wealth, I mean more money than you need. Well, Pastor Jim, I just want enough to pay my bills. Well, then you will never be a blessing in the kingdom of God. In order to be a blessing, you have to have more than you need. You can't bless anybody if you can't pay your bills. Let me tell you something, folks. It's people who have more than enough who pay the bills. And people who have more than enough who bless other people and take care of other people. We give away a lot of money. Praise God we can. We haven't always been able to do that. Now, this, this power to get wealth, the, the, the concordance, when you look up that word power, and I look it up, I look these words up because I want to know what that word means in the Hebrew. It means a force. And I'll go further than that. I will tell you it's a, a current, a current I always talk about power. The power lines are, I'm pointing because in that direction behind this camera, outside this building is power lines. You got power lines coming to your house, whether they're overhead or underground. Some of our power lines around here are underground. Some are overhead, but the power flows into this house to turn on and off the electricity, the power. Well, this power, the, this, the power of God flows. The woman with the issue of blood in uh, Mark chapter 5, she touched Jesus. He felt it come out of her. This is a power that flows. And the power to get wealth also flows. It flows from God to us. It's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. But when he comes with, with a purpose to increase wealth in your life, that's a power to get wealth. But it has to be turned on. It has to be switched on. What turns it on? I'll tell you what turns it on. The blessing of the Lord. Proverbs 10.22. The blessing of the Lord. It makes rich. The word rich there means plenteous in goods. It means more than enough. Money left over. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, it says, and God is able to make all sufficiency abound to you, that you having all sufficiency in all things and left over, money left over for all good works. That is, that is abundance. That is what Jesus came to provide us with. And that is what is switched on with this power to get wealth. And God is telling the Israelites here when they're getting ready to go into the promised land, don't forget where you got that. Now, this power flows through the Jewish people, folks. 
I'm here to tell you it flows through them. In abundance, it flows through them. They are born with this power flowing through them. The Christians have gotten away from this. When Constantine separated the Christians from the Jewish people at the Council of Trent, all those years ago, 300 and some AD, when he did that, he separated the Gentiles from God's blessing. The blessing comes through the Jews. And he wanted to separate the Christians and the Jews. Not me. The Bible says we're grafted in. We're all one. Except we're born again. Most of the Jewish people are not. But it says if you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to that promise. The same promise that the Jewish people had and that is the power to get wealth. Glory to God. That's your, that's, that's your inheritance. This power to get wealth because it comes with the covenant. You should claim it. I will turn that on for you with the blessing. When I speak that blessing over people, let me tell you something that happens, folks. This blessing comes over you and with it, it brings the power to get wealth. It's like flipping the switch. And that power, this has flowed into us for the last eight years. Eight years ago, we struggled to pay our bills. Failed at what we tried to do. Lost everything we had again, several times. But not no more. Because when I got a hold of that blessing, folks, it's like somebody flipped a switch. And somebody did. It was the person who spoke the blessing over me. Flipped the switch. And now, I mean, just within, within five months, $295,000 worth of debt went away. Just went away. We're not doing anything different now than we were doing eight years ago. Mary still works at the dollar store. I'm still pastor of our church. Amen. And I'm still putting out the videos and the messages just like I did before and prayed with people. But the difference is the power to get wealth has been turned on and it just comes it just comes from so many different directions and and this happens and that happens and it's just like it's just like everything I do accumulates wealth I don't even try it finds me glory to God I stopped pursuing money and started pursuing God's blessing and when I did, money started to pursue me because the switch had been turned on. You call me today. I'll turn that switch on. When I speak that blessing over you folks, yesterday was blessing day. Not only did I just speak the blessing over you, I was turning on the switch. The power. Now you get in there and you read Deuteronomy 8.18 today until you're eyeballs water because you need to get a revelation of this read it out loud Deuteronomy 8 18 over and over and over again and start saying I have the power to get wealth money comes to me amen go to my website increasenow.com share this video with everybody you know please there's no reason for anybody to be broke. And make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations. And if you need prayers answered today, call me. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen. And I will turn on the switch, the power to get wealth.